So the question is, why did this happen? Now, on the one hand, I've emphasized the agricultural history of Hawaii and how it's setting up Pearl Harbor as this site. And I'll stand by that because these planters were so important. So this one was really important for them. But what was in it for the United States? What was in it for the United States was not just the protection of some planters, because the fact is sugarcane and pineapple can be grown elsewhere. And the planters that were there, yes, they were Americans, but they only had so much political pull. I think it's really important to look at this document from shortly after purported annexation that maps the importance of Hawaii in an American newspaper. Honolulu and Pearl Harbor, vital centers of America's power on Pearl Harbor, map of, map of the Pacific. On the left, it says Hawaii commands the whole Pacific. This is where Pearl Harbor, American colonialism come together. So ultimately, I want to say that the American annexation of Hawaii was less about the story of agriculture and agricultural planters than we often emphasize, and more about pu'ulo, Waimumu, Pearl Harbor, because as the lower left of this newspaper page says, Pearl Harbor Station, protection for America, showing the maritime dominance that Pearl Harbor could, could, could make possible. And not just a long-term lease on Pearl Harbor, but no, the complete political control via American domination of, the, uh, of Hawaii, making more secure this Navy, um, this naval dominance. As the headline on the right says, backed by Navy, America in, in Pacific is impregnable. All right. Interesting choice of words, impregnable. But the power of the United States, the naval power is inherently tied to this. So this is the spot that got attacked on December 7th, 1941. This is the history of that spot. And this is why, to a certain extent, um, this, is, this is the very important beginning of a story that's going to culminate in 1941 and then in 1959.